What's up, Gamer Nation? Steven Thomas here with another episode of FIFA 22 and the Sir Francis Drake FC playthrough. I know it's been a while, but I am back. I'm done with my work trips. I'm done traveling for weddings. I am back in the saddle, ready to record again. Though I will say, as soon as I got home and I was getting ready to record today, we had like severe thunderstorms come through. A tree went down at the end of the road. We lost power for a couple hours right before I got ready to start. So it kind of delayed so i'm recording this one pretty late at night I'm gonna try to edit it and get it up and going tomorrow so we can keep on going with the season and what a season it's been uh if you are enjoying the series go ahead and hit a thumbs up down below and leave a comment as always we are in the transfer window in our fourth season and we are vying for promotion to the premier league and i'm very excited about that one thing you may also notice is i'm actually wearing a soccer kit it's from South America, you know, Argentina to be specific, but you know, that's cool. It's a uh, Almegro. I actually did that mystery football box where you subscribe and every month they send you some random thing. And uh, this is what I got. So I thought I'd put some of the uh, Patreon money toward that. So if you want to help out for me to build up an arsenal of soccer kits, uh, that's the way to go help me is on Patreon. I think I'll do a self plug on that one as we get back into this. So again, we're in the transfer window. And looking at our standings right now, we are second. Two points behind Preston. Remember, the top two get promoted. Brighton is two points behind us. So it's very close. Middlesbrough right there. Um, we do have AFC Bournemouth coming up next. That's going to be a tough game. Let's see who else we have coming down the pipe. We have Watford. They are sitting in sixth. And then we have Brighton. So we are taking on three, five, and six this episode i may only do three since we got a lot of the transfer window it really just depends on time wise i know that last episode was very lengthy and i apologize evidently i cut out one of the goals that uh, we scored the score went from like 2-1 to 3-1 i i edited that really late at night like at two in the morning i was supposed to get up at like four in the morning to catch a plane for my work trips and I just wanted to get it edited and let it process and let it go so that I could make it live while I was on my trip. And I must have just like highlighted and clicked and erased too much. So apologies for that. I will work to do better. But I guess at four seasons, only erasing one goal, that's pretty good. But I, I apologize for the chronological failure of the matches. Uh, so some surprising things that I have done on my own. I've read your all's notes and read some stuff uh, leading up to this transfer window. I've actually listed a lot more people on transfer than we started with. Will they all go? Probably not, but there is going to be some surprises. Obviously, Cornick and Rivero, we're keeping them. Uh, Esposito, we've got him listed just in case. Uh, Koch is up there. Uh, Adams is on there. Uh, we've got a couple guys going out for loan that's been there. I did actually get to re sign. It's not updated as happiness, but I did re-sign Noradal. So now we have options to either keep Noradal. He signed, I think, being rotation. Uh, so that's okay, but that's kind of the same as Van Vane. So I'm a little bit worried about them like split in time. So I'll just have to rotate them in and out for the rest of the season uh, and just see what happens there. And I think the other person I signed, I know I went through and updated some people's um, salaries, but we, we can always do that later. But I did list Thomas Lamb, and I know this is controversial, and I know that some of you are going to be like gasping about that, but I did notice that he is actually on the decline of value and everything. Um, so I figured we better get the value for him now before he just retires and we lose everything. Um, that does leave Bongard and Carvajal, who are both equal to him pretty much. Obviously, Lamb has been there for us forever, but I don't think we lose a lot. And that does open up the window for us to go out and look a little bit more for uh, some center backs. Because I've even thought about when we get to the Premier League, even running like a 5-3-2 or 
like a 5-4-1 or something like that just to play more defensive and more counterattacking football if we get there. That's me getting ahead of myself. We may not. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. So I've just been looking. I've also... I've made a new spreadsheet over here because I'm a big spreadsheet nerd. We have got two amazing backs coming in. We have Voyobrov worth 1.8 million who's going to play left back. And then we've got Lucas Crespo who is worth 1.8 million who can come in and play right back. I'm really thinking about listing Henny and selling him. And then we put we've kept Watkins on. So either Ibrahim or Edwards would get also sold. And then Watkins would be our backup because he could play both sides as well. Uh I like I said, it maybe I'm just cashing out. I don't know why, but uh I think Voyabrov, who is already 66 overall, and Crespo is 65. I think they're going to be ready a lot sooner than we think. So I am actually going to go ahead and add Henny to the transfer list. Let's run it forward a few days. We'll see what happens. I know that I messed around and I put like a, uh, yeah, I put this four, one, 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 three thing. I don't know if I'll keep that. Like I said, I've been messing around with what I kind of want to run and I've got notes everywhere. I don't know if I'll pull out a new formation until next season. Uh, but like I said, I was even think like I said, the ones I'm really thinking about is having five in the back with the wing backs attacking, and I want to have them inverted with wingers. And then, uh, you know, obviously we would have two midfielders there, so we may have to convert Bravo and some of those to just, we, we wouldn't have a defensive person was what I'm saying. Um, but then there's some other ones. That I've been looking at the four four one one is also something with uh, which it would change it to something like this where we would move the the wide mids up to be wingers, um, so it would be a four four one one, yes, but in essential it would read something ridiculous like this, um, because that's how this game operates. But still, time to think about that. But um, let's rest the guys up. We've got a game, a big game coming up Saturday. But let's see what else will happen with this transfer window blowing wide open. All right, AFC Bournemouth today. They're playing the 4-3-3. Rogers, Hope, and Christie up front. Kilkenny, Cook, and Suchik in midfield. Kelly, Bastinza, Mustafi, and Smith in the back line. And Travers in goal. Morris, Cordic, and Fernandez up front with us. Bravo, White, Jago, and mid. Henny. Bongard in there starting today. Lamb and Watkins. Lang in goal for us, of course. Hardly clear weather. This is a big one. We need a W. Let's go. All right. They're making a big deal about the Vitality Stadium. I don't know why, but maybe some of you people know. Let's see if we can uh, get off to a hot start here. Stewards, what are you expecting to see? Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game. Oh, that's quickly. not the hot start I was looking for. Playing the ball forward. That is a possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, big turnover. We are playing very sloppy right now. Tried to hit Cornick there, but he'll bobble the ball and then he'll just run in and lose it. And this is not the start of the game I wanted here. Only three minutes played. Thanks as always, Alex. It looks like Preston's already took the lead in their game, so that's going to increase their lead and grip on that first spot unless we can do something of our own here. Watkins running up here trying to... Oh, my God! Getting taken down. Red card him up. Only a yellow. The ref has a word. We're going to see the first yellow card of the game. The referee not standing... He tried to dribble that out, and he'll just take him down. Ridiculous. I know he's like three foot taller than him. Oh my, he took a butt full. Oh, a face full of butt on that one. Good pass through here. Pablo Bravo got some room. And Pablo Bravo is going to make it 1 0 early. Let's go. I think that was Edson Fernandez who uh, found the, the path there. It was. 
And Bravo, just with his foot speed, he didn't have to go back over the corner. He just goes right through the keeper. 1-0, Drake's leading. And our push for the Premier League continues. Let's go. Coincidentally enough, the only offer we've had this transfer window was Edson Fernandez, or for Edson Fernandez, and uh, obviously I hastily turned that down. Now, if we fail to get promoted to the Premier League, we will probably have to sell him because you do lose players if you don't promote. Find Smith, the Cook. Jago gets in there. Watkins once again fighting to get through. He's going to try to hit Edson Fernandez. Run around him. Come on. Oh, we should have had that one. Good press, and we will force the turnover, maybe. Bravo does come out with it. He'll hit Cornick. Cornick looking, and they've opened up this whole side. And Cornick is hit back. Smith will kick it out. And we're about five till half. And they do got to run here, and they do have open bodies in the middle. The counterattack for Bournemouth. And they overhit the cross, thankfully. Push back out. Still in the danger zone. Shot blocked. We'll get it out of there. And that's going to be into the half. We'll escape with a 1-0 lead. But this is uh, tense. These three games today are going to be cray-cray. Early turnover here. Edson Fernandez comes up with it. He's going to cross that over. Nobody's... Oh, we did have somebody there. We will come up with that. Wyatt alone comes up. Oh, big hit there. Ref didn't have a word. Gil Kenny passes that one up. They go over the top to Rogers. Lamb! Oh, my God. Lamb steals his... Picks his pocket clean. And then he... Lamb embarrasses him again. Okay. And they are going to come up with it here. This is very dangerous. This is a goal. Oh, Lang. And they're going to get a corner out of this. We just couldn't clear it out. They'll go for a change. Warnick does indeed clear that out. It's a, oh, it's a Fernandez. Gave it way up. Let's play it over the top. We'll hit Shaden Morris. And Morris is going to have a lot of room to run here. Oh, just a bad. Come on, somebody's got to go for that. Jago pushes it in here. And that's a goal! Oh, and they call a quick offsides there. Oh, that was a little cattywampus. Boss is going to come in here. Or Edson Fernandez just get some fresh legs. We just played a couple days ago. Every time it just goes right back to him. Oh, Bongard comes up with it. Oh, we had a good through man there, but Cornick's pass was blocked. Oh, they're going to call a foul. I, uh, I'm not sure why we stopped play. Do damage. Oh, and the shot, Pablo Bravo. It's just to the moon. We'll make some changes here. Oh, I don't even know who to bring in. Let's bring Alonzo in and uh, I think I'll bring in Wei Shei Hao for Morris. And they do cause the turnover. And this is dangerous. None of our guys went for that. And they'll get a corner out of it. Our whole back line just stood there with cement feet. It looked like Dick Tracy and uh, all of them had got a hold of them. Trying to pick out a teammate. 
All right, Lang, come up with that one. Watkins pushing out here, passes it up. Boss is going to go up here to Pablo Bravo. And that's... Oh, Shea Howell missed! Oh, my God! Way Shea Howell! And that's why you're on the transfer list. Oh, we should have sealed it up right there. It should have been done and dusted, as they say. Whatever that means. And that's going to be it. The ref is tired of them. And we're going to get three points and stay at the top of the table or near the top. Big win against Bournemouth there. All right, looking at the match facts, 52-48, pretty close. Three shots to four. I mean, that was a pretty good game. I just don't understand the passes. I think I pass a lot more when I play it on the ultimate difficulty than I do on legendary, which I'm not sure why. It may be just be this formation. But, uh, yeah, we'll take the three. All right, it didn't take long. We've already got two offers for Thomas Lamb. $2 million from Cluj. Not sure where they're at. And then we've also got, let me click back on the screen here, Orlando City, which I wouldn't mind sending into the States for him to, you know, going to Florida and playing is not that bad. Not that bad at all. Um, you know, when uh, you kind of think about it. So we'll look at both of these offers. I'm not even sure where Cluj is at. All right, so evidently they're a Romanian club. So, yeah, I'd rather, much rather send him to the United States. I mean, it's closer to Finland for his home, but we'll see. Um, we'll answer both of these and see what they say. All right, so he's negotiating with the Cluj one and said, I'm not sure. What, I accepted one from Orlando, but it took both of them? That's weird. All right, we'll just move on. All right, we got Salford City at home today in the FA Cup. I've rolled out the B team. Timmerman, Ribeiro, Boss up front, Van Veen, Edwards, Almeida, and Alonzo Ibrahim. Bongard and Kumutio getting the start. We're going to put Schinkel in goal. They've got King in goal. Torre, Vassal, Turnburn, Love in the back line. Morris, Lund, Lowe, Thomas, Asani, Namai, and Ote up front. We'll see if our second string can pick us up some FA Cup wins. All right, here we go. I'm automatically going to pause this because uh, I totally forgot to put my earbuds in, and that's totally professional, but just so you know, we do it live. Um, I'm interested to see how our B team does. We've never really had a B team. We've mixed and matched, but now we do have enough players. We'll see how that goes. We've already got a continuation foul because that's just how we roll around here. That's going to be out of bounds. We'll take it over. I'm hoping that we can uh, put them away early. And not worry about it. But we'll just have to see how that goes. I'll hit Ribeiro here. What a terrible pass. Ribeiro's got to work on his passing. I, I think I need to... I think I've said that before. His passing is very just cattywampus as they push here. Asante... And they'll find some room. They'll push it back a little bit. They'll hit low. Thought we were there to block that, but it doesn't look like it. They go in. And Komotillo is going to come up with that. And we're going to push. And here comes Boss. Boss trying to outrun. Boss. Oh, and he's bumped. He couldn't get the pass off. And they're going to push. Oh, Ibrahim, nicely done. We'll see if Ribeiro can get out here and run. He's going to pull it back. It's a bad pass there. Hit Boss on the outside. Boss with lots of room. And this should be something. And it's absolutely nothing. Boss just showing why he's not good enough for the first team yet. Timmerman trying to get through. Oh, boss, what was that? What was that nonsense? That little twirl pass. Well, 
there you have it. In terms he of makes me so mad. Much in it, it really has been a hard fought battle so far. One of these teams needs to Got to go over the top. Hit Timmerman here. An alert intervention. Doesn't hold on to it. We were playing really sloppy this first half. Being pressed and pressed hard. And to look for something here. And we're going to lose the ball. Approaching halftime. And they'll give it right back to us. And that's going to be it. A very understellar halftime. Or first half. I'm not very happy. We'll have to do something to get the team going. Yeah, Ribeiro's just four touches and not getting anything going. Trying to pass it up here quickly. There's a slot. He does find Almeida, of all people. He's going to pull that back. And we're there, but just nothing happens. That's so embarrassing. Timmerman with the ball down here. Timmerman. Oh, we just still couldn't get it off. Oh, what was it? Oh, my Lord. I might have to go for some changes. I don't even know what to go through here. I. Who can we bring in to be a star? I think I'll bring in Kosh. He's played. And we'll bring in Nordahl. Nordahl's the man who can do something. He's in for Van Veen. Boss out. Kosh in. Here we go. Almeida looking. He does find Nordahl. Nordahl in behind. Oh! Oh! Oh, good lord. Almeida just about killed himself running into that. I'm not sure why that took that kind of bounce. And then the recovery. Brilliant from him. And time for the change now. All right, going to bring White in for Almeida. White is the lone standout. We'll see if he can... Actually, hold on. Is he the... Who, our captain is Ribeiro. I thought White is a very much... He's a better captain. But I don't know how much that has effect on the game. Lonzo well, fighting for that one. Oh, oh, come on. Throw, card him up. Looking here. Going to hit Ribeiro. Oh, he couldn't get it to Noradal. It was a great play. Nine minutes to go. No, I think we go into penalty kicks. Oh, and we just can't... We can't come up with anything. We've got tired bodies out here on defense. White trying to hold it here. Oh, they played inside. This could be a goal. And it is. Of course, EA things. I, I want, was that their first shot of the whole game? It was. First shot of the whole game and they score. That's just how it is. I didn't think that we would win this. This is probably going to hurt my manager rating. We just, nothing's coming our way now. This will be the end of the game right here. We're going to lose 1-0. We're focusing way more on the, uh, on the league and not any of the cups. And we're going to lose this, so we're out of the FA Cup. I'm not that worried about it. We'll take a hit to our manager rating, but I'm okay with it. The only thing that made me mad was the announcers were saying they deserved it because they played a great game. Their expected goals was 0.3. They got the ball. They took one shot, and the game's like, yeah, we're going to make it go cross net, and we're going to score. That's just EA things. It happens. All right, Thomas Lamb has agreed to go to Orlando City, so we'll probably have to be on the lookout for another center back. I know a lot of you are going to be upset about that. That is just how it goes right now. So Bongard and Carvajal will be our starter with Comotillo in backup. We might not even have to make a move on it that early. We could take a look and see around. I don't think there's any loans out there. 
But uh, I have been scouting a number of players, so we'll just see what happens. As for our transfer budget, we're dealing with about $38 million right now, 23 wage. So I'm very happy about that. All right, Watford today. Watford is fourth in the league, so another big matchup. I think our Brighton game got moved, so they must have won in the FA Cup, and they're going to advance and keep going. Morris, Cornick, and Fernandez up front. Bravo, White, Jago midfield. Henny, Carvajal, Bongard now starting alongside him and Watkins. Ling in goal. They've got Vega up front. Duumbia, Eteke, uh, Zinkernage? Zinkernagel? What a name. Uh, Jubicic and Dele Bashiru in midfield. Good Lord, Watford. Messina, Serralta, uh, Trustikong, and Ngakia. Uh, for them, Dahlberg in goal. I am great at butchering these names. It's raining. We're at home. Let's try to get another W. We are two points or three points behind Preston right now. So every win counts. Every point counts. All right, lots of rain. And, of course, it only affects us. See if we can move the ball up here. We'll look. Bravo just speeds through. And Fernandez misses. Oh, we hit him perfectly, and he just shanks it. Carvajal, good interception there. We'll push it ahead. Oh, we couldn't get it through. Good interception again. White will hit Kornick. Kornick through to Bravo. And Bravo's going to deliver again. 1-0. Drake's lead. Pablo Bravo is becoming a superstar. The defense held up there. We turned the ball over, got it back, brought it back up. Cornick again, becoming the distributor. Oh, he, Bravo let it go through his legs, crosses the keeper up. 1-0 Drakes. That was beautiful. I wished it showed the pass up close. They are in the box. They have pushed. It's opening up for them. Trying to move us around. Kick it back out a little bit. It's a Carvajal. If he can hold on to it, he does. And someone has scored in the Preston game. Let's find out. Push that one up to Henny. Oh, and Henny just couldn't hold on to it. He didn't. He doesn't have the agility to keep the ball going there. Kecky, he had some. He had a window. Oh, he goes right to Jago. Edson Fernandez, pushing up here. Edson Fernandez. Oh, let's go! What happened? And he's a bit unfortunate, you have to say. Oh, it's about, probably an own goal, isn't it? Oh, he hit it into his own goal. I thought we hit Bravo. I was wondering why Edson Fernandez was celebrating. But we'll take it. We'll go up 2-0 because of the own goal. Serie Alta. And that puts us up 2-0. Uh, the ref didn't play advantage really that far uh, because somehow they got the ball and Kornick was still on the ground. They push up. What a shot. Lang with the block. Woo. Burnt that one in there. Warner for Watford. They sling it in here and that's in for a goal. They get one back. And White just not tall enough to get up to it. And that is one of the difficulties. We do have a lot of short players here. 
But Watford makes it a game here before halftime. Well, here's the replay. It's certainly a well-delivered ball into the area. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper. Looked like it come off his hand. Great goal. Oh, he just... Ling should have had that. EA things. Well underway again. But thankfully we had the own goal. Get down to Morris. LA Galaxy come asking for Morris, but they went to lowball the offer. Let's see if we can get one more here. Pablo Bravo looking. Tries to hit Kornick. I think that would probably take us to halftime. Oh, and here we go. Why? Oh, it's blocked by the keeper. We're going to get in one corner here before half. Let's see if we can make it count. White's going to sling it in. Oh, and it's just too high. Pablo Bravo couldn't keep it down. So it'll be 2-1 as we go into the locker room. Working in the box here. Block there. Big body block. The game kind of glitched for them to get the ball there. It was a pass to us, and we tried to pass it over. And like that, where he dodged, uh, our players just kind of watched it. And the same thing just happened kind of there. I don't like how much they got us moving around here. This is, this is looking more and more like a goal. Oh, God, please get that ball. Lang, you didn't have to dive, dive for that. Oh, my God. Let's just clear the ball out just so we can feel like there's some... Oh, we once again did it again. They're going to come back with it. And Bravo will knock it out. They'll get a throw in, but that's okay. All right, Henny out. I'm going to bring Almeida in for him. I just don't like the way that Henny's playing today. Morris getting to that. I don't think cornick has got the gas to get here, but I was wrong. How is that a free kick? I think you might enjoy this game. That looks a really entertaining game. Two good teams with two excellent coaches. I can't wait for that one to come round. A decisive clearance it was. Not sure what happened there. They got a free kick. Really White step. Piece of defending to make sure Another free kick to them. Are you serious? Then by the Substitution then. I feel like the game is leaning toward them now. Might have been tempted to caution him, but didn't, Stuart. Yeah, and I like that from the referee. Jaco coming out. And We're going to hit Edson Fernandez on the run. And it might be. Oh, Fernandez! He almost had it. Well, that would certainly have put them in a great position. Oh, my Lord. Come on, Morris, get that. Oh, we just can't. Time running out on this one. If we could just hold on, good Lord. Warnick. Oh, bravo! And it's to the moon again! Oh my god, let's do some subs. Oh, I'm so mad. Uh, Ribeiro and Boss in just to waste some ticks off the clock here. I charged, that was all me. That was all me. I charged up way too much for that one. I'll, I'll, I'll drop back to defensive. Oh, here we go. And Jego, the power shot, it's blocked. They'll kick it out, and we'll get one last throw in, I believe, here. They're going to get the ball, and the ref will blow the whistle. A 2-1 win against Watford. That is two big teams at the top of the table we have taken down. And I'll see what time looks like if we're going to play a fourth one today or not. Close game. That was 53-47 uh, possession, seven shots to six. 
Two fouls by us somehow. All right, big match coming up today. Brighton. They are high on the table. We are very close to the top of the table. We'll take a look at the standings after this game. Morris, Cornick, and Boss going to get the start today. Van Vane also getting the start in at Cam, giving some players some rest. The only other change in our lineup is Komotio next to Carvajal uh, there in the center back position. They've got Zagiri, uh, Stendhal, Wilson, and Lamptey, Mulder, Mulder, and Gederson uh, in midfield. Cursarella, March, Webster, and Dunk in the back line. Sherpin in goal. Let's get some points here. We're at home again. We've got a lot of home matches coming up, and we need to get points at all of them. All right, here we go. They were saying the praises of Harry Cornick Jr. before the game. Let's see what we can do here. Hit Morris. Morris passes intercepted. Pitting the opposition back. Playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Well, I believe a spot kick award. Got some players on the field that definitely weren't in the lineup when I said it. I think I'm going to have to start waiting until we get in the game. To, oh, they just got the ball back here, and this is a dangerous spot to turn it over. Comotillo does a great job there. White, somehow. Back heels at the Kinney. Hornick. Not who I wanted the pass to go to. Oh, we just too much dribbling. Oh, no, no, no. I left this guy on the side. Oh, wait. He's offsides. If he... Oh, he played it perfectly. Our defense is all over the place in this game. We definitely don't want to give up points here. Well, White comes up with that one. That might be a bad pass. Nope, it comes out okay. Van Vane gets it. Oh, just a bad pass there. I don't know what Morris is doing here in the latter part of the season, but I'm not happy about it at all. Watkins, I had to take him under control to get that. Oh, Cornick. Oh, Van Veen couldn't. Oh, come on. Cornick, like, set you up beautifully. And you just let it. Ah. That was almost as bad as the way Shea Howe. Morris. We'll come up with that one. Oh, we just couldn't hold on to it. Now it's dangerous. Come on, that had to be a handball. They what? That was a handball on them. Oh my God! It's in there. I don't even know what to say to that. And they're like, they've been pushing. No, they have it. They have not. They got a free kick. Well, as the replay shows us, it's a decent first effort, but he's so off the post. The two of my guys run away from it. <sighs> Carvajal, what are you doing? If you would have just stood still, you would have blocked it. One nil Brighton. Push it out. Can he play it in? Doing a great Stop. job wasting the end of the half. Wilson. He splits our defense. Oh, it might be. And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. And Brighton takes the 2 0 lead right before half. It's all about keeping the concentration. This could be our promotion hopes gone. Look at this. He just dribbles between two my two center backs and then passes it and then just a wide open shot. Zakiri, he wasn't even on the list when I said earlier. He was the guy I was talking about. 2 0. We're getting our butts handed to us. So 2 0 now. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. They just uh, continue to bring the pressure here. We're definitely going to have to do something. Crossing into the middle. 
Pushed him out, so hopefully it's the end of the half, and it is. Thankfully, mercifully, the half comes to an end, and we're going to have to really regroup to get back into this one if we want to split points. All right, I'm going to make a change here. I'm going to bring in Ribeiro in for Van Veen, just to put his two strikers out there and see what we can get working with them. We've got to, we've got to amass some points, and I think this may be the way to put Kornick and him out there. If I had Shehao on the bench... I would maybe put him out there at wing two. And of course, as soon as we start, it's a bad pass. Jago, big interception there. We needed this. Ribeiro looking. He'll hit Kornick. Kornick tries to put it through. As you can see, Brighton are controlling we the just, possession, and as a result, have dominated. The Brighton game. has done a great job today, keeping the ball away from our playmakers. More changes for both sides. I'm going to bring out Morris and put Fernandez in on the side. He plays it short. Ribeiro. Should pull one back here. Oh, and that was our chance. And Edson Fernandez just misses it. That's two shots in a row that I know. It was a perfect play, and he just goes wide. Once again, they push here in the box. Henny is there. We couldn't clear it out. We just, we've been tr utter trash today. Arva y'all gets that. They're all over us. White trying to get some breathing room. He'll hit Ribeiro. And White just misses. Uh, we'll put Nora Dahl in. I mean, we got eight minutes. I don't know what else we can do. We've got three players out there that could score. These refs definitely letting them play today. Oh, God. This is probably going to be goal number three. Oh, Lang, a beautiful save. Oh, my Lord. And that's that's probably going to be the game. Well, nope, just kidding. Nope, there's the third one. The game was hell-bent on getting it, and it did. We're going to get smashed here by Brighton. 3-0. And we'll have to take a look at the table and see where that's going to put us. That's not going to help us on any fronts. That was uh, pathetic. A pathetic showing by the Drakes on that one. That's one of the worst games we've ever had. Eight shots to two. They dominated. They deserved it. They deserved it. No shot accuracy for us. We couldn't get anything going. Their back, back line just held the whole day. That was ridiculous. All right. So that little bump did hurt us. Brighton will jump us into the automatic spot. And it doesn't get easier for us. Our next game is going to be against Blackburn, who is fourth in the table. This has been the most crazy. We have Hull after them. Hull is mid-table, so that's a little bit of relief. And then we have Millwall, who is almost in relegation. And who's after that one? It looks like uh, Sheffield United, who is near the top of the table. So couple of tough games, and then a couple of mid ones. Our goal difference, oh, Brighton has got us big on the goal difference. Ooh, I didn't realize that. It's going to be tough to jump them. They've lost one game this season. Oh, my Lord, they are for real. We're just going to have to do our best. I think playoffs is definitely a big chance. I know a lot of you were pushing for that. It looks like that could be our opportunity. I would love to get the automatic bid to take some pressure off of us, but we'll have to see. We've still got a few days left in the transfer window. Uh, I thought some more players would move, but as for now, they're not. We actually don't have a game the rest of the transfer window. So we'll start the next episode with that. 
We'll close out the transfer window. We jump into 2026. No, no. We go to February 2025, and then we've got a game every week. We got four games. Nine games left, it looks like. Oh, no, we got we got plenty of games. For some reason, I thought we only played 38 games, but I'm totally wrong. We've still got a lot of games. We've got another one against Preston coming up. Oh, we've got tons of games left. I don't know why I was getting rid of this season. All right, so next episode, we'll fill out the rest of the transfer and see what we come up with. Um, I'm going to have to do some homework on my formations and see what we need to do. But if you're enjoying the series, don't forget to hit the like button down below. As always, thank you all so much for watching. God bless, and don't forget to make good decisions. Special thanks to these July Patreon supporters. If they were suntan lotion, I'd rub them all over my chest. My toned, buff chest. Party Commissar, Kiana Handy, James Matisse, The Least Expected, Azure Rain, Zachary McKinley, Eccentric, and Nicholas Absher. 